that offense? Like, what has made them effective? Uh, them being physical, uh, coming out, running the ball, setting up the play action, um, getting our best players in space. So they're doing everything they need to do. Where are you guys right now? Do you feel like you're climbing? We're not too high, we're not too low. We're right in the middle, and um, we're keeping it steady. And um, everybody know what the mission is. Everybody know what we're here to do. And um, everybody working hard. What, what changed after that Kansas City game? Because all of a sudden, like, came out to practice that week, and it was like the fun bunch had arrived. Like, everyone was in a good mood, happy, and it's kind of carried over, hasn't it? Um, yeah, it's definitely been carrying over. We've been having a lot more fun. Like you said, we've been celebrating, having fun, and just enjoying the moment. And we've been right there in every game, and we feel like we should won every game we play. So when you get that feeling of, you know, you, you, you know you're supposed to win, it's just like, let's go do it. What we're waiting on. That's the feeling we yeah, get. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? You know. And how much, uh, how much is that kind of? Spread like my mom used to say. It's contagious. Smile and everyone yeah. smiles with yeah. you. It's contagious. Um, when, when it's energy, because it's easy to just put your head down after two tough games, two tough losses in the NFL, and for us to come back and win two in a row, you know, shows what type of team we have. And uh, we're not satisfied. We know there's more work coming. Got a good proven team coming in, in Detroit, and we're gonna be ready for on Sunday. Is this a big challenge? Yeah, too? for sure, for sure, definitely. For this part of the season, uh, what are you you guys mostly look for? I know it's kind of getting into the half of the season almost. In um, the consistency f um, from the man next to you, your brother, being able to count on him, you know, healthy-wise, and being able to make sure he's going to execute for you on both sides of the ball or, and, and in the kicking game. Hey Joey, what have you uh, thought of your guys' celebrations lately, <laughs> and you specifically? Yeah, uh, me and my trainer, Todd, we watched the show Sanctuary on Netflix, Sumo Show. Good show. Recommend. Japanese. It's uh, pretty good. and. You know, I stripped the ball. I thought it was a good time to pull that one out. I, I hadn't planned it, so I just uh, kind of spur of the moment remembered it, and I thought the guys did a good job jumping in. So, yeah, I think we're just trying to you know, we're trying to have more fun out there. It's, I mean, it is a game, and sometimes you get really uh, caught up in in how intense it is and how serious uh, we take our jobs that uh, you, you forget that you should be having fun out there. So. I mean, it's easy when you're winning, obviously, but uh, I think it's important for all of us to, you know, celebrate with each other. <laughs> it was, I, I really, I swear I didn't plan it. Uh, we talked about it in the off season, and I just, I, I don't know where it came from. I just kind of, no, I mean, I, I really didn't have it planned, and it, it just, I thought it was a good time to do it, so... Uh, it was fun. It's definitely a one-timer, not coming back. So the rest of the of your teammates sort of joined in and prompt you? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, they uh, they had no idea. And, God, I wonder. I mean, I didn't even think about it that day until I made the play. I was like, oh, this would be a good sumo, sumo time. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, no, I, I thought the technique was good. It's, uh, I can't remember the, it's, a, it's an old ancient whatever, old training technique for the sumo when they, they put their legs up like that. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but, yeah. Joey, just the relationship with Thule, against Chicago, you get the sack, you throw up the tee. <laughs> this last week, he threw up the tee and then did your, or he yeah. threw up your celebration and then the tee. Just yeah. talk about the relationship with Thule. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't say enough about him. He's uh, just your, I mean, I'd say ideal rookie, but he's just your ideal teammate that you want to have on your team. Works hard. He's like a sponge. He learns really fast. He can, you know, he, you could talk about something on the sideline and he can apply it. You know, that that rep going out there. So he's fun to teach. I mean, we talk about Thule, but I mean, it's the whole rookie class. I, I've never had a, had a better group of guys with Brev and Andrew. They're just hungry to learn and get better. Um, but yeah, it's just I, I think it's been really fun. It's it's just funny that. You know, Thule kind of looks up to me because I've been been in the league for eight years, and now we're out there just playing together and having fun. It's uh, it's definitely a one of a kind thing that you really can't experience in anything else. What, what's made you, Khalil, and him such a dangerous trio? Um, shoot, I mean, I think we're just we're just getting there. We have a long way to go. Um, last two weeks went really well, but I, I mean, Khalil's obviously one of the best to ever do it. He's a Hall of Famer. Um, and just to, to be able to add the wisdom and, and his skill set to the team, and then along with his his oldness, we have <laughs> Thule's fresh 
fresh young body to come in to kind of balance everything out. And I'm in the middle, pretty crusty, but not quite Khalil yet. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's just a great group. And I mean, Chris Rump is uh, incredibly valuable. Um, the special team said he had literally the best game he's ever seen anybody have on special teams last week, which you know how big, a, uh, big of an impact that can have on the game. Uh, and then coming in and he had some really great rushes at the end of the game. So I think the whole group is, uh, we just enjoy being around each other and we enjoy playing together. Just, uh, Tui was talking about how he was a little bit, I guess, shy when he got here. Yeah, that's changed. He said from like a, like, it comes from like a, a place of respect that it just doesn't, like he didn't feel comfortable approaching you and Khalil. He said he still doesn't feel comfortable yeah. approaching Justin. How have you sort of seen him, I guess, come out of his shell a little bit yeah. since he first got here? You mentioned the team dinners that you guys have has sort of yeah. helped him. He's sitting more towards the middle of the table instead of in the corner. Yeah, no, I, t I totally understand. I mean, when I first got here, I've always been a pretty, pretty shy to myself type of person. Um, and it just it takes different people a different amount of time, time to, to adjust and get comfortable. But I think once he realized that we're not going to like <laughs> that we're not assholes <laughs> and we're <laughs> willing to like coach to him and be open and talk to him and talk about anime or talk about whatever stupid thing it, the subject of the day. Um, and I think that just, you know, it loosened, loosened him up and yeah, he re realized that we're not just we're not just crusty old uh, mean vets, which there are there are some of those. Not on our team, thankfully, but um, you definitely run into that, and it can kind of suck the energy from you. So, um, yeah, he's definitely come out of his shell a little bit. All the rookies have sometimes. It's like, hey, you're still a rookie now. Shut up. <laughs> but no, he's he's great, and the team dinners are great. Uh, we're going going tonight. Um, I always give him a hard time because it's always. It's always hard to get me up off the couch at Friday afternoon, but uh, it's, it's always a good time. And then the other thing you talked about is um, just how much of a technician you are and sort of your, your hand usage, and that's sort of what he looks up to you about and wants to get there eventually. He said that like the only way, really, that you said to get there is just it's just reps. So when he when you're having those types of conversations about like technique and, and hand placement, what is sort of your advice to him, and, and how long does it really take to, I mean, maybe uh, not to get to yeah. your level, but to develop that that part no, of your game it's different for everybody um, he is like I was just saying he's a he's a sponge and he's a really good learner he's able to apply things really fast um, I mean we've talked about a million different things he's not afraid to ask questions which I think is a really good trait because um, like you were mentioning sometimes you're a little shy you're not you're, you're afraid to, to ask those questions but um, I mean, he's just a quick learner, and he's he's really easy to coach, which is fun for me. Uh, that's what I really enjoy. I've never been a, a great like um, speaker in front of the group, rah rah kind of guy. But when I can get those one-on-one -on -one moments where I could kind of break it down and really talk technique and talk football, I really enjoy those moments. And you know, same with Drew, same with Brev. They've all kind of come out of their shell a little bit and they really want to learn and they ask questions. And, uh, you know, rookies are, aren't always like that. They're kind of just stay in the back, stay quiet, try to get what they can and don't ask too many questions. But, um, I mean, he's, he's well on his way. Uh, he just, you just have to keep working it. But, uh, sorry, I, I just tell him that just because I, I do it one way doesn't mean that's the way you have to do it. Um, you just have to kind of, Keep at it, learn your style, and then and continue continue to hone that. Last one, Claudia. Yeah. When when you look at the Lions and what they've been doing lately, yeah. how much better has they been getting through? Like yeah. better, a lot better. No, I think this is a huge test for us. Uh, obviously, their O line is one of the best uh, we've faced so far. Jared Goff is doing a really good job getting the ball out quick. Uh, their defense is playing well. Uh, just all around a really good test. Um, last two weeks. I think we we had a couple good wins, but I think this is going to be a real real big test for us, um, and, and we'll have a kind of true understanding where, where we sit after this game. Um, but yeah, I'm just I'm just excited for the test. What is the offense for the Lions? How does it change when David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs are both healthy? Oh man, uh, it's explosive, man. Uh, playing with Demo, I don't think we got like four years. Uh, understanding what he can do, what he brings, his physicality. Um, it changes the, the whole dynamic of their team. Why have they been able to be so successful, do you think, this season? Um, I feel like they uh, they play to their strengths, um, which is the O-line and, 
and the running backs and, and protecting Jared on the um, protecting Jared on the, and giving him time to, to do what he does best. What's the biggest difference you've seen from your defense the past two weeks? Uh, you say difference, but I feel like we're honing in on the opportunities and we're having a lot more fun and, and, and enjoying playing with each other and making the most of the opportunities. When Joey gets two sacks, you get two sacks, Tuli gets two sacks. Yeah. Is that kind of what you expected when you came here, when you were traded here to this Brandon Staley defense? Yeah, you could say expected, but um, understandably so. We uh, we work hard, man. These guys work hard. The DBs work hard. The Derwin, uh, Alohi, all these guys, Mike, uh, Zant. We all work hard, man. And um, the hardworking group. Um, all you got, all you saying is the the hard work that's been displayed on the field, on practice field, and, and translating into the to the game on Sunday, Monday, whatever, whatever day. What's the biggest change you've seen? or difference in golf maybe compared to when you faced him with the Rams to down Detroit? Uh, you can tell that's his team. Um, he's confident. Um, the coaches believe in him. And um, anytime you're playing against a guy like that, uh, you know he's going to have, he's going to do He's going to do this what he does, what he do, uh, put their team in the best position to win the game. And um, he's not turning over the ball, taking care of the ball, and able to be balanced, balanced offense. What's it like to kind of see Tooley come out of his shell? Because he said he was scared to uh, scared to approach you guys uh, at the beginning of like mini camp and stuff, and now he's sitting closer to the table with you guys during the uh, yeah. Friday dinners. Yeah, right. No, yeah. Uh, Tooley, Tooley, a funny guy, man. Uh, some of the stuff he say, I, I'll be, I'm shocked by it just as much as y'all. But uh, he was a little quiet coming in, but just him coming into himself and. Uh, being a lot more comfortable with us, and just speak to the group that we have. Um, a lot of, a lot of guys that you could say uh, high-level players and stars on, the, on the football field. But um, we all, we all brothers when it, when it comes to the locker room. Okay, what, what, what's, what's key for you guys to be able to slow down the Lions' offense? Um, just knowing they have a balanced attack, uh, running pass, uh, playing the run, especially this week. Um, getting ready for that, I know that's going to be a big part of. It. Yeah, can this you guys, would seem to be a, a pretty big step up in class and opponents you're facing offenses after the past two weeks. I mean, is there a sense of trying to prove that what you guys did the last two weeks is more you than who you're playing? That's the thing, man. We're not, we not trying to prove anything to anybody else uh, but the guys in the locker room. And um, knowing what we, what we have the opportunity to do, um, we're trying to make the most of it. Do you, do you feel like you guys need to have a game, though, where you, you stop a team like the Lions, or everyone knows they're, the season they're having. Yeah, I mean, have a game, not have a game. Um, our expectation is to go out and play dominant defense, uh, regardless of who 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 the uh, opponent is. Clearly, you know the Couple Lions well. Um, how good are their offensive tackles? Oh man, uh, I, I haven't played against um, the right tackle as much, uh, but Taylor, I played against. Her. A few times um, over in Detroit, uh, been in Chicago. Um, yeah, they got they got solid guys, man, up front. Um, it's gonna be our job to to make them one dimensional and, and, and play the pass. Hopefully, a lot. Can, uh, can you guys ride the momentum, the momentum that you were able to achieve against the Jets? To, to this game is a totally different game. Yeah, I man, riding momentum. I'm not a momentum. My momentum thought process isn't the same as everybody else's. I, I'm a uh, not too high, not too low guy. And uh, throughout the week, we just preparing to, to do what we do and not worry about everything else, momentum and all that. That's like up and down. That's too up and down for me. Okay. I can't focus in that kind of mindset. Um, just understanding what uh, we want to do defensively uh, is to go out and, and dominate uh, regardless of who it is. That's all I can. That's all I can give you. Khalil, after last one. You know, you've played against Keenan Allen for so many years when you were with the Raiders. Yeah. What's been the difference? I guess like what's been your impression of him as a teammate over the oh, past man. Years? Um, Keenan, uh he a, he a fun guy, man. He like to he like to enjoy yeah. himself on the field. But um when you turn on the practice tape, he's working hard, um, just as hard as these rookies and running as fast as these young guys. And so uh just to see him dominating over the course of what, eleven years. Yeah. Uh, it's very impressive, man. Is it different being his teammate as opposed to? Oh man, it's a lot. It's a lot more fun being his teammate yeah. than playing against him. Absolutely. Yeah.